Hey folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I've been sitting on this stuff for a little while and I wanted to get to it. This has been the stack of WizKid stuff you've seen in the back corner, but what I have for you today is the Icons of the Realms Summon Creatures Set 1 and Summon Creatures Set 2. So what these are is pretty much that continuing sort of the, they don't list spell effects, but these are basically continuing your spells or class feature abilities into many, right? We've seen some of the spell effects in the past that would give you the different radiuses for things like Spirit Guardians or otherwise, and this is to cover a lot of the creatures that you can summon, whether they be with, uh, you know, any of the new summon spells or otherwise. So Set one is a giant goat, an auroch, a needle blight. I actually don't know what you can do to summon a needle blight, but a warhorse and a pegasus. And set two, uh, a satyr, a green hag, a coaddle, an earth elemental, an air elemental, and a fire elemental. Now I'm a little upset because they gave us an earth, air, and fire, but no water elemental. Seems kind of uh, weird to do three out of the four elementals. Now these are currently set for a July release date as per the WizKids website and looked uh, to be, at least for set one, $39.99. They're both $39.99 MSRP. Uh, I believe I can find these on Amazon, so I would do Amazon affiliate links for both of those. But I do have a series of WizKids unboxings coming out. I believe any of the ones that I have that were under embargo are no longer there. So I have these. I have the Cobalt Warband right there, and then these two sets of larger Pathfinder ones in these boxes. So it just takes me a little bit to get the unboxing rig set up. So thank you again, WizKids, for sending these over. It's interesting because we have seen some of these in the past. I believe this, yeah, actually we do have, we have, I think a horse, uh, definitely I think a Pegasus, the three elementals that are here. Yeah, the Seder, the Green Hag, and the Coatl. Those are all sets that have arrived in previous WizKids releases. And I gotta say, I think the Coatl got the biggest short end of the stick when it comes to this, although the main on the Pegasus is just flowingly gorgeous. So let's bring these in close and take a look. First up here is our Needle Blight. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure how you can summon it, but I'm not a huge fan of this sculpt. There's some ab definition there and a little bit in the arms, but it just kind of is a muddy brown mess. Next up, we have the Auroch, which is sort of a, a bold style creature from Dungeons and Dragons. You can see there's a little bit of definition in the fur here as I focus it in, but uh, you know, it, it is all the same color and at least the hooves are different, but I feel like they really missed an opportunity to change the color of the tail. It all being the same color seems kind of silly to me. I, I would have taken the time to change that definition. And you can see the face is all right there, the horns, and it's kind of really hard to see what the actual face is. Following that, we have the Warhorse. Now, this one I do like. If I look at this, I, I think it's done well. I can see, you know, I've got definition at least a little bit in the tail, and I see the metallic texture. Uh, unfortunately, a mini probably couldn't ride on this due to the nature of it, but at least they were going through the level to give it barding, and they kind of have like a little horn in the front of the armor, and you can see the blanket and everything. I think that's, that's probably the best out of this set. We have our giant goat here. Now this is, you know, could be for the figurine of wondrous power. You can actually see, it looks like there even is a sideways pupil on the yellow eye there, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you know, it doesn't look too bad. The, the fur actually has a little bit of definition there. You can see that. And we've got our sort of black horns, although there is some mold lines on the horns, which isn't too bad. And then lastly, the winner here is the Pegasus. This is the definite winner of this set. Just look at the mane there, this action pose with those glorious locks flowing in the wind there. You can actually see the definition of the individual feathers. The tail doesn't look bad either. Again, the bottom of the tail flaring out like that kind of looks a little weird to me, but I think this is definitely the winner. Uh, I would go for this one for sure, but $44 for this seems like a lot unless you really need a Pegasus. All right, here we have our green hag. Now, you can kind of see a little bit of definition in her face as we spin her around here. The hair, you kind of really lose any sort of real definition to it. A little bit of coloration there, but nothing too crazy. A little bit of, yeah. And then we have the satyr. And the satyr. Once again, this one just looks like garbage. Look at the hair on the arms and the legs. Like, it's just mush. 
blurred colors all together in my mind. You can at least see some definition on the face, but like, look at the hands. Right? No, 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 thank you. Ugh, this one breaks my heart. Coatl. Look at how they massacred my boy. Look at the tail. What is even that? With the yellow on the tail like that? And with the feathers? Okay. I, I don't often do this, but seriously. Can we talk about the comparison between this summoned Quaddle? I guess the ones you summon, you summon yours from Wish. And I get mine from the real world. Because look at the difference between these two Quaddles. We've got metallic iridescent scales that are easily defined, feathers on the tail, feathers on the body. Like, it's just, it's just so much better in every possible way. This poor guy. All right, and then the elementals are actually pretty decent overall. All right, here's our fire elemental. Zoom it back out a little bit. Uh, and you can see here, it's, you know... I think I might have the brightness up a little bit too high. Maybe turn it down a little bit. There you go. Get you a little better look at them. Um, but yeah, you can see there's some definition, again, a little bit. It's mostly a being made of fire, though, so there's not, you know, too much to really play with. And that's, I'd say, on par with the other fire elementals that we've seen. We've got our earth elemental here. It's got his little bit of his weird... I always thought the design for the earth elementals were weird with that kind of huge forehead thing they've got going on there. But all in all, this one's not bad. It definitely, at least you can see craggy definition in the rocks themselves. And then lastly, we have the air elemental, which this poor guy... I don't know if you can make out. He's got two tiny little black dots for eyes. Seems like a weird... You probably could have just left it alone. But he's okay. Again, I do like a little bit of the swirl bits around the base there. But it does feel weird to do three of the four elements and just leave the water elemental hanging. And just for a quick shot, really for the thumbnail more than anything, here is all of the summoned series together. Yeah, no luck on finding Amazon links for these. I went and looked. I looked on the WizKids store. They're available on the WizKids shop website where you can see them there. They do say, again, uh, July 2021 as the release date. I don't have anything more other than a July release. So keep an eye out on your friendly local game stores if that's available to you. Otherwise, keep an eye on Amazon or WizKids.com or DndMini.com. You might be able to pick these up for yourself. So let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about these for $39? Is this worth it? I do think we've seen a severe increase in quality in a large portion of WizKids minis, but it's interesting that some seem to be like they might be just like like B like sets, like the, the secondary sets, or they're maybe left over from an earlier set, because some of the newer stuff we've seen is really super high quality, and then others not so much. So I don't know, like you saw the two Kawattles as a great example. So Anyway, thank you to my patrons over on Patreon for continuing to support me and the channel. Thank you once again to WizKids for sending these over for review purposes, and I will see you all next time.